Hey y'all, Texas Beekeeper here. Uh, today I'm going to do, I guess, the third round of splits. I've got some nukes here ready to go, four just in case. Uh, this is our colony that's had the brood from this one for nine days. So that queen laid the eggs. I put them in here for nine days. Hopefully they built us up some cells. Uh, we're going to take those and we're going to split those into these colonies. Um, like I said, hoping to get three, maybe four, uh, less than three, and I'll be a little upset at them. But uh, we're going to see how that does. Then the brood that's in here that she's laid up eggs in, I'm going to move them over to here. And then I'm going to, today I'm going to stop. I'm going to not put more brood from the donor, donor colonies in here. And I'm just going to start letting this colony build back up again. Uh, see if I can still pull a honey crop off of it and uh, Which should because it's still really strong and still has brood on the bottom that we're not touching Unless we just don't get enough on the top, but we'll we'd be swapping uh, So let's see what we got a little overcast. I'm a little Hesitant because of that, but eh, there is some Sun peeking through so maybe we'll get lucky but uh, let's get in here. Let's see what we get and uh, so so far we've made seven splits today if we get three would be ten uh, and then we have that one last round that's going in here today so in nine days maybe we'll get three more 13 uh, so day, today is day 28 I'm a day early tomorrow's gonna be a pretty good chance of rain so we're gonna try to get in here a day early uh, remember there was a day where I was a day late sorry for the pen with this method you can go day early day late you don't really want to go two days early or two days late because then you start throwing things off by too much but a day here and there is fine uh, so today's 28 and we've gotten 10 splits so far let's see if we can make that 13 maybe 14 thank you all right i'm going to start by going through the brood colony and i'm going to take out a, the bottom box, or the, excuse me, the middle box. Yeah, so now this one's plenty strong. Check for the queen on the lid. I don't see her. She is marked with a white dot. All right, they've been doing a great job drawing out this foundation. Uh, I'm gonna, this one's loaded with honey or nectar. And then these three are drawn out pretty good. And these three are drawn out pretty good. So they've been, they've been doing what we want them to do. Uh, I'm gonna bypass looking in here right now and just go straight to getting the brood. So I'm gonna set this aside. Yeah, looks great. Looks real good. So typically this box just gets pulled off and set on the other colony. Just as it is, uh, I'm going to look and just make sure we've got some eggs up in here. Make sure the queen's been coming up like we want her to. Because uh, to start off, she's in the bottom. So a little bit of drawn comb there. Not a lot. Set that aside. And let's dive into these just a little bit. Okay, a lot of nectar and pollen here. Mm -hmm. 
Still in a reasonably reasonably good mood. That's good. Uh, all right, we got some brood here. Starting some cups. Let's see if they're loaded. That one is not. And that one is not. I do have just a few eggs up here. Some polished cups. So it doesn't look like the queen's been on this one much. She probably started... Nah, there is some more. She's got some more on here, so she's been doing okay. Uh, this side... Not as good over here, I don't think. Not seeing a lot there. And I don't see her. So let's go just a little deeper because that's not going to be good if they're all like that. But I don't think they are all are. All right. this one I wouldn't be surprised if she's on one of these frames a few eggs in here the brood's coming out of the middle and she's back filling so that looks okay a lot of nectar on this side so they've been backfilling the brood with nectar and pollen. Not necessarily what you want. Not in this situation anyways. So let's go in again. Got a little young bee on my finger here. Not even flying yet probably, just emerged. Lay that down and let her get off. You can fly. Okay, a lot of brood here too. All right, queen's on this one. A lot of eggs in here. Here's the queen, if y'all can see the white dot. So that's her. So what we're gonna do is grab her real quick if we can. She puts the she puts the boogie on when she wants to. Alright. I'm gonna just throw her in the middle here. We're in the bottom. She went down, so now we don't have to look for her. I got my lid in the wrong spot. So what we're gonna do is build this one back together. Putting this box on. She'll come up and lay in this. There's some great, sorry I tilted this the wrong, the wrong way for y'all. Just trying to get as few as possible. All right, there we go. Okay. 
And now we have a box full of bees. And you know what, let's just, we're just gonna put what's here. I mean, I know there's some in that last frame we looked at. I'm putting my veil on, they're getting a little irritable. Not too bad yet, but they're buzzing me. So we know this one had some pretty good brood, uh, milk brood eggs. And I would assume it gets better as we go or gets the same as we go. Um, so I'm gonna close it up. Like I said, this is gonna be the last one anyways. So it's not like we have to keep it going. Um, we can put a cover on here for now. All right, a couple of covers. Just to, just to keep them covered. All right, we're gonna move to the other side now. All right, so this is where we should have our cells our queen cells just cleaning this off so I don't drop a lot of debris in there when I go in this uh, top box is most likely just gonna be food stores no queen in here so you don't have to look for her uh, we got some wax on the top there. This is not centered. As he continues to stack on there. Alright, we're not going to do that. We're going to go up here. Okay. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of food stores here. Drawn out comb, drawn out comb, drawn out comb, drawn out comb. Looking good. They're doing a good job of doing what we want. So what I'm gonna do now is remove this box. We're gonna go into the bottom and make some splits. This will go back on when we're done. So these are our split frames most or some of them depending on what we can get now let's see what we got good uh stack full of bees we've got between every frame starts to get light between these last two here but uh, i do still see them on the wall so looks pretty good yeah y'all can still see so i'm gonna pull Let's pull this one. This one's got less on it. So they've been drawn out comb down, down here. That looks great. Same there. We're going to put those off to the side there. And let's start building some nukes. Try not to crush too many of them. Smoke's good and cool. You always want to test the test the smoke on your skin because uh, if it's burning you, it's definitely burning them. Uh, some nectar pollen there. Nectar pollen. So that's a good one for supplementing a nuke. Give them a little bit of of resources. But hopefully we've got what we came for, which is some queen cells. All right, nectar, <laughs> nectar pollen. Sorry about that. A lot of pollen on here. Bee bread. So another one that's gonna be for a food source. Let me check that. That's just my wife. Just saying I can go get something to eat. 
or I can wait for her. I'm gonna wait. I'm busy. And we can go have lunch together. All right. Lots of capped brood. A couple of cells there. That's perfect. And a couple of five cells there. Oh no. Seven. We got two more up here. So this is definitely good for one. Actually too many. I could try to cut some if we needed to. But uh Let's first see what we got on these other ones. They're not doing too bad. It's a little overcast. Uh, don't see cells on this side. A lot of drone brood, or not a lot, but several things of drone brood. Same on this side. Well, that's a little disappointing. Let's hope they didn't just put them all on the one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to smoke them again. Smoke's still coming out cool. Come on, we need some sales, girls. All right, we got one here in the bottom corner. If y'all can see that. Hopefully we got at least one over here. Nope, we got a cup. But we're gonna put this in one by itself for now. And if that's what it turns out to be, that's what it turns out to be. And the reason for preferring multiples is just just because you increase your odds. Like, what if something happened to that cell? Could be a dud. Uh, so having two, the likelihood of two of them being bad, not as good. So just kind of increasing your chances. All right, so we've got one here, one here. There's two. So that's good. And a couple on here. Three, four, at least five. Got a waggle dance going. Well, this will be another one. So we've made our three. That's great. Uh, what I'm going to do now is look for do we want to go to a fourth or do we want to add to that other one that only had one so we got a couple of cups down there but not capped so those probably are no good and brewed here so nothing there these are going to be supplementals running out of time which is fine a lot of capped brood there's a cell there so we could go let's see what we got on this other one real quick because I can either supplement the other one with another cell or start another nuke and a couple of cups up there those aren't going to be any good so yeah let's just supplement the one we've got we'll only do three today got a sting on this one all right so we're going to put this one and this other one that only had one Okay, so we've got three, three good ones started. I'm gonna supplement each of them 
with some extra bees, some brood. Uh, and we'll go that route. What I'm gonna do real quick is put this other box on so that they're coming back to a colony and not to an empty box. It makes them happier. Okay, I just put the wrong one there. So, that's fine though. Okay, so here we're just just adding to to what's in here, trying to build them up a little stronger. basically have about three for each three frames for each nuke and then I'll add in some blanks one that had a little bit on it so. Okay. That, I need two more frames and then we'll be done. We'll go ahead and put those in in a little bit. Uh, go ahead and start moving stuff out of the way here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe.